Hey friends, welcome back to 16th week question and answer session. This is from 13th April to 19th April. And uh, let us look at the first question of the week. The union cabinet has uh, recently approved. The answer here is the real estate regulatory bill. Recently union cabinet approved real estate regulatory bill. That means once this bill is passed by parliament, then you will have real estate regulator because in India, real estate sector is the least regulated. Government wants to have regulation of real estate sector. That's why recently cabinet proposed real estate regulatory bill. And once it is approved by parliament, you will have real estate regulator on the lines of regulators for insurance sector, regulator for microfinance institutions, regulator for banks like that. You will have regulator in future once this real estate regulatory bill is passed by parliament. Right friends, look at the next one. As per the SOHM SkyMet study, dash percentage of farmers in India have crop insurance. What is the SOHM? Associated Chambers of Commerce and Industry in India and SkyMet. It is the weather forecasting organization in private sector. SkyMet is the weather forecasting organization in the private sector and recently joint study was done by SOHM and SkyMet industrial body as well as weather forecasting body jointly have done the survey and in that survey only 19 percent of farmers have crop insurance only 19 percent of farmers have crop insurance this issue assumed significance in view of the crop losses taking place due to unseasonal rains in recent past because of unseasonal rains in the months of March and April, wheat crop was badly damaged in northern part of the country. Right? So, 19% got crop insurance. There is a case in point to increase the penetration of crop insurance so as to protect the farmers. Look at the next one. Several protests are continuing due to the alleged corruption in Petrobras as well as raising inflation. Petrobras is the public sector oil giant of Brazil. In Brazil, several people are coming onto the streets to protest against the alleged corruption in the state-owned petroleum corporation that is Petrobras as well as the raising inflation. And this is a real challenge for the President Dilma Rousseff, who got re-elected last year. Right? The answer here is Brazil. Please don't forget. Look into the next one. ISIS recently destroyed 2,500-year-old Assyrian sites of Nimrud as well as World Heritage City of Hatra. Hatra is the World Heritage City. Recently, ISIS destroyed 2,500 year old structures and this world heritage city of Hatra is situated in Iraq. Previously, we discussed about the destructions in Mosul, Nimrud and now the world heritage site of Hatra is dismantled by ISIS, UNESCO expressed serious concern over the development. UNESCO basically looks into the world heritage sites. Right friends, look into the next one. Motorola was partnered with the Flipkart to sell smartphones in India. For the online sales, Motorola was partnered with the Flipkart for selling smartphones in India. Motorola was acquired by Lenovo last year, last year October, Lenovo acquired Motorola Mobility 
or mobile business of Motorola last year was purchased by Lenovo for 2.91 billion dollars for 2.91 billion dollars please don't forget Lenovo is the multinational giant of China Lenovo as well as Huawei these two companies are multinational giants of China whereas Microsoft is US based and Samsung is South Korea based do you know what is the other name for South Korea it is the Republic of Korea friends look at the next one Julie Bishop she visited uh, recently and met not only external affairs minister but also finance minister and defense minister with regard to having agreements with Australia and Julie Bishop who visited India recently is the foreign minister of Australia the answer here is Australia and let us look at the next question Prashant Bhushan and Yogendra Yadav who were recently expelled from Aam Aadmi Party we are all familiar with the internal squabbles within Aam Aadmi Party because of uh, internal squabble these two persons Prashant Bhushan as well as Yogendra Yadav were recently expelled from Aam Aadmi Party and subsequently these two persons started a non political outfit it is not a political party for the time being these two persons started the non political outfit the name of the outfit is swaraj abhiyan please don't forget the name of the non political outfit launched by the suspended aap leaders prashant bhushan and yogendra yadav is swaraj abhiyan friends look at the next one name the state which launched its bike ambulance service or first response unit the idea here is because of heavy traffic in cities or maybe due to the condition of roads in rural areas bikes can go easily and can reach faster than the four wheelers bikes can reach easily and they can reach faster than the four wheelers with uh, this in mind recently karnataka government launched by ambulance service or first response unit the answer here is karnataka recently karnataka chief minister siddharamayya launched this service right probably karnataka is the first state to launch bike ambulance service right friends look at the next one name the e-commerce company which decided not to join airtel zero after the controversy over net neutrality recently net neutrality created lot of uh, debate in social media and uh, subsequently flipkart announced not to join airtel zero subsequent to the controversy over joining airtel zero right the debate of net neutrality goes on and government recently stated they will come out with a solution during the month of may right look into the next one 21st congress of cpim cpim is communist party of india marxist its 21st congress was recently held in visakhapatnam in andhra pradesh 6 days congress was held and sri sitaram yachuri was elected the general secretary of the party answer for this question is 21st congress of cpim was recently held at visakhapatnam please don't forget recently the congress of communist party of india was held at pondicherry or puducherry look into the next question name the new general secretary of cpim communist party of india marxist the new general secretary is sitaram yachuri he is the fifth general secretary of cpim fifth general secretary of cpim 
Sitaram Echuri, normally elected for a tenure of uh, three years, and the previous general secretary was Prakash Karat. Now Sitaram Echuri became general secretary of CPIM, replacing Prakash Karat. He is the fifth general secretary of CPIM. Please look into the next question. When did we observe the World Heritage Day? We observed April 18th as the World Heritage Day. The World Heritage Day is also known as International Day for Monuments and Sites. It is also known as International Day for Monuments and Sites. And based on the International Council on Monuments and Sites report, here you are looking into the logo, this International Council on Monuments and Sites is based in Paris. Based on its report, UNESCO declared April 18th as the World Heritage Day to protect the heritage structures, to commemorate and to celebrate heritage structures in the world. This April 18th is declared as World Heritage Day. So, in India, we have more than 30 World Heritage Sites. In India, more than 30, we have World Heritage Sites and some of them are Taj Mahal, Red Fort, Agra Fort, Mahabalipuram Temples. So, these are all World Heritage Sites and more than 30 sites are declared as World Heritage Sites by UNESCO and all over the world more than 1000 sites are there which are declared as World Heritage Sites. Friends, look into the next question. Name the rating agency which revised India's credit rating from stable to positive. Credit rating agencies give rating not only to governments, but also to big corporates like Reliance, like GMR, like l &T. They also give credit rating to governments. These credit rating agencies, if you look into the world credit rating agencies, these three, Fitch Ratings, Moody's and Standard and Poor, these three are known as the big three in the world. For credit rating, these three, Fitch Ratings, Moody's and Standard & Poor are known as big three in the world and recently Moody's gave rating or upgraded the rating from stable to positive. Right, friends, look into the next question. Ri Su Yong, who has met the Foreign Minister Sushma Swaraj recently, is the Foreign Minister of North Korea. Recently, Ri Su Yong met the Foreign Minister Sushma Swaraj and Ri Su Yong is the Foreign Minister of North Korea. Please don't forget North Korea and South Korea. North Korea is bordering China and if you look into this, it will be very clear. This North Korea is also known as Democratic People's Republic of Korea. North Korea. The other name is Democratic People's Republic of Korea and South Korea is Republic of Korea. North Korea is Democratic People's Republic of Korea, South Korea is Republic of Korea, South Korea is well developed in comparison to North Korea. Friends, look at the next one. ONGC, Island Natural Gas Corporation, OIL, Oil India Limited. BPCL, Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited, will invest $6 billion more in Rovuma oil field. They have already invested $6 billion and they are going to invest $6 more billion and this Rovuma oil field is situated in Mozambique. Mozambique is the country in Africa. So, ONGC, OIL and BPCL are going to invest $6 billion more in Mozambique. The answer here is Mozambique. Look into the next question. How many Indian states participated in the Industrial Technology Fair at Hanover Messe? 
we all deliberated in detail in the lecture part hanover messe in germany is the largest industrial technology fair in the world and recently narendra modi inaugurated the hanover messe fair and out of 29 indian states 14 states participated in the hanover messe industrial fair 14 states participated in the hanover messe industrial fair and some newspapers gave the reports of 15 or 16 states but from the authentic site of hanover messe the report says that there are 14 states look into the next one as per the world economic forum report as per the world economic forum report during 2012 31 india needs 640 billion dollars for urban development 640 billion dollars 1 billion dollar is roughly 6200 crore rupees to 6300 crore rupees based on the exchange rate and world economic forum says during the 20 years period from 2012 to 2031 india needs 640 billion dollar for urban development and world economic forum also says that there will be a gap of 110 billion dollars as far as urban infrastructure is created in the country there will be a gap of 110 billion dollars as far as urban infrastructure is concerned in the country right please don't forget as per the world economic forum report india needs 640 billion dollars during the period of 2012 to 2031 world economic forum is the non governmental organization created by class quap headquartered in cologne in switzerland right look into the next as per the world economic outlook which was released recently the world is expected to grow at 3.5% in 2015 recently world economic outlook was released and for and as per the report released recently world will grow at 3.5% growth will be 3.5% in 2015 and world economic outlook is released by international monetary fund please don't forget world economic outlook as well as global financial stability report world economic outlook as well as global financial stability report these two are released by international monetary fund whereas ease of doing business index is released by world bank these things please don't forget right look into the next one to transport food grains to northeast region government of india plans to have long term pact with a neighboring country for water transport here i would like to tell you one point sending goods to northeast is easy if we utilize the ports of bangladesh in bangladesh if we utilize river ports it is easy for us to send goods to northeastern part of our country recently 10000 tons of food grains were sent from andhra pradesh to tripura by utilizing ashokanj river port in bangladesh now government of india wants to have a 5 year pact with bangladesh to transport various goods to northeastern part of the country so the answer here is bangladesh look into the next one overall prize money for french open tennis tournament this is a part of a grand slam tennis tournament french open tennis tournament the prize money is increased from 25 million euro to 28 million euro the prize money is increased by 3 million euro 25 million euro to 28 million euro 
and at the same time please but don't forget the winners of a men's and women's singles will get 1.8 million euro each from this year onwards the winners of men's and women's singles will get 1.8 million euro each please don't forget look into the next one hawks bay cup was recently held in New Zealand Hawks Bay Cup is for women's hockey and recently Australia won the tournament by defeating New Zealand and this Hawks Bay Cup is for women's hockey right WPA based inflation what is WPA wholesale price index the other one is consumer price index wholesale price index tracks the increase or decrease in prices at the wholesale level consumer price index tracks the prices at consumer level at consumption level by individuals this wholesale price index based inflation for march 2015 recorded minus 2.33% please remember when the rates are increasing we call it inflation when the rates are decreasing we call it deflation opposite for inflation is deflation in recent times during the past 5 months negative wholesale price index inflation is recorded or you can say deflation is recorded for the past 5 months and please note that we are affected with the raise in prices based on consumer price index not based on wholesale price index consumer price index tracks the prices at consumer level now the consumer price index related inflation is more than 5% but whereas wholesale price index related inflation is decreasing now and it is into the negative territory which is known as deflation for the past 5 months and the answer here is consecutively for the fifth month it recorded negative inflation or deflation right look into the next one name the co creator of element 117 who was awarded the hevesi medal hevesi medal who is hevesi he is a hungarian scientist who got a nobel prize long ago and in his name an award was instituted and recently susanta lahari of saha institute for nuclear physics kolkata received this hevesi medal he is the co-creator of element 117 the exact name for the element is at to be given and because of his contribution to element 117 he was given hevesi medal recently sushant lahari is with the saha institute of nuclear physics look into the next one as per the final list of founder members of aiib released by china india is one of the 57 founder members aiib is asian infrastructure investment bank asian infrastructure investment bank proposed to be set up with the beijing as the headquarters tipped to be rival for world bank and asian development bank and initially 57 countries including several western countries agreed to join aiib which is not palatable for united states of america right look into the next one name the country which decided to remove cuba from the list of state sponsors of terrorism relations between cuba and usa were strained since 1961 and recently discussions are on to ensure normal relations with cuba by united states of america now united states of america decided to remove cuba 
from the list of state sponsors of terrorism. This is basically to ensure normalization of relations between both these countries, which were strained for the past 50 years. And now, USA decided to have normal relations with Cuba. Right? The answer here is United States of America. Recently, during the 7th summit of Americas held at Panama, Cuba attended the summit. Probably, this indicates a normalization of relations between these two countries. Look into the next one. Name the country which test fired intermediate range missile Gauri. Intermediate range missile with a range of 1300 kilometers. Pakistan recently test fired intermediate range missile Gauri. The answer here is Pakistan. Right? Look into the next one. Bird flu or avian influenza has recently surfaced in the state of Telangana near Hyderabad. Bird flu or avian influenza, the other name for it is H5N1. Please don't forget, H1N1 is swine flu. H1N1 is swine flu. H5N1 is bird flu or avian influenza. Recently, it was detected near Hyderabad in Telangana state and around 2 lakh birds were culled because of this. Right? The answer here is Telangana. Name the software firm which announced a one-time bonus of one week's salary for each year of completed service. Recently, Tata Consultancy Services announced a one-time bonus. If somebody put in service of one year, they will get bonus of one week. If someone completed 10 years of service, they will get 10 weeks of salary as bonus. So, recently TCS announced that its employees will get one week bonus for each year of service they have put up. Right? Look into the next one. Name the Indian bond CEO who is going to receive Champions of Change Award from United States of America President Barack Obama. It is none other than Sachin Nadella, CEO of Microsoft. This award Champions of Change is given when steps are taken to change the lives of family members also. Right? So, Sachin Nadella is going to receive Champions of Change Award from United States of America President Barack Obama. Look into the last question of this part. Name the country whose first lady has visited India recently. Rula Ghani, wife of Afghanistan president, visited India recently. The answer here is Afghanistan. She talked about the women's rights in Delhi University. And with this, let us conclude part one. And please do join for part 2 of question and answer series. Have a nice day. Thank you.